Hello and welcome to another uh, tutorial in XNA. And this tutorial, actually, I'm, wait a second, I'm going to open a neat little application here. Okay, so I'm starting to record back in full screen because some people like that better than uh, up close and stuff like that because you get to see everything. But for all the people that like it more zoomed in and so you get to watch it in lower resolution, I have this bar right here uh, that allows you to see what I'm typing. Uh, so today we're going to work on making the Pathfinder more efficient again. Right now every time it writes a new map, a new collision map, it checks for intersections for all the objects and it does this whole loop thing and it takes a long time. It takes like five seconds to do that. And if each zombie takes five seconds to write a new map every time they want to find a new place, uh, that's not a very efficient way to do things. So instead of dynamically making collision map, we'll, it'll just copy off a static collision map. Uh, let's actually go ahead and minimize this window. And so the way we're going to use this is basically just using uh, bitmaps. So if you go to your documents, Visual Studio, or wherever you saved your project, in my case, uh, I, s I saved it here. Uh, you want to go to bin, debug, and right where we have our object db.xml, that's sort of where we're going to put our maps. Except I'm just going to make a new folder, call it maps, maps, and this is where we're going to put all our collision maps, basically. Uh, and I think, as well as, uh, tiles but I think we may just keep our original system uh, for now so uh, let's go ahead and modify our map reader uh, I think it's right here is this it no this is this is a dif different one this is not the one we're gonna use where did I put that right here okay so this is the one so map reader we're gonna want to create a new static variable that I'm just going to put in our game class. It's going to be a bool, an array of booleans. Call it map or collision. Collision map equals new bool. And then we'll have it, you know, actually we'll declare this variable somewhere else. Okay, in our initialize method. After the room variable, we'll say, um, Oh, where is it? What do we name it? Collision map. Collision map equals new bool. Room dot width and room dot height. And what this will basically do is just make the collision map uh, equal to the size of the room. Uh, there's actually one thing I forgot. We need a grid size because this is a grid based system. So we have to divide this by the grid size. So path finder dot grid size. And let's see. Oh, oops. Uh, one thing we have to do when declaring our collision map is we don't want this to be a 1D array. We want this to be a 2D array. So all you have to do is put a comma right in between those two square brackets to do that. Uh, yeah. So we want to divide the height also by the pathfinder grid size just like that and that should be good we should be good in declaring our collision map uh, next thing in our map maker we want to actually give some value to the collision map so the, oh no not our, our map maker uh, where is it our map reader right here okay um, we want to actually give some value to our collision map so we're just gonna make a new method call it public void create collision <coughs> map from bit bitmap should we just name it like that okay and yeah and so first thing we want to do is get our bitmap so I forgot actually where we have to inherit I mean uh which namespace we have to use so let me just check up on that Okay, apparently we have to use the uh, system dot drawing namespace to get the bitmap class. 
So what we want to do is just uh, declare a new bitmap. If wait, sorry, I got it wrong again. Okay, let's try this one more time. Bitmap. Heck. Bitmap. Click away. Uh, equals new bitmap. There we go. Okay. Nope. Okay, I've decided to just uh, copy all the namespaces from my previous class that I made. So the, all the new ones are uh, system.io, system.xml, system.drawing. Uh, it's giving an error. Okay, it does not look like I have the reference in here. So what you want to do is just go to your zombie shooter uh, project, or just go to your project, open references. You don't have to open it, actually. And just right-click it and press Add Reference. And I think it's in .NET, so you want to click .NET. And you want to search for system.drawing. So it should be in here somewhere. There we go, system.drawing. You want to press OK after you select it, and it should be right in here. You see our error goes away, we have system.drawing, and we should have our bitmap class uh, ready to use. So wherever, wherever I can find the new class I made, where the heck did I put it? Oh, oops. Uh, this isn't supposed to be in here. Wrong class. Oopsies. Okay, there we go. So our system.drawing is in here and now it recognizes it as a class and uh, yeah okay okay so the argument you have to put in here is an image argument and the way we can do this is we can we have we need a reference image basically to make this new uh, class so you just type an image and use a static method called from file and all we have to do is put in the file name of where that image is and in our case it's going to search in the debug and it's going to be in maps so it will be maps slash something and I'm just going to call it map1 so maps slash map1 dot bitmap or BMP and uh, we can change this very vari variable right here depending on if we want to have different levels but for now I'll just give it map dot one one dot BMP uh, so what I'll do is just uh, assign a value to this bitmap variable right here. And next thing we want to do is loop through all its pixels, basically, and determine if it's black or white. And we'll set the collision or Boolean array according to that. OK. So actually, uh, what we want to do here is get our game one dot room class I mean room variable oh, I can't spell room and get its width and we're gonna set it to the bitmap dot width so actually uh, in our initialized method in our game class right here this is actually not doing anything anymore and this isn't actually doing anything anymore so we can actually just get rid of this or cut that line and I'm gonna bring this piece of code right down here so uh, game one dot room man I can't spell room dot height equals bitmap dot height uh, sorry someone's talking to me right now Sorry about that. Uh, I think I forgot one thing. Uh, I forgot to make this public and static. So just go ahead and make this public and static. And we also want to, in our map reader, uh, say game one dot collision map. And yeah. And just put game one in front of, in front of the room variables. And so that should update our height. Next thing we want to do is just loop through uh, the width and height of the bitmap. So for int i equals zero, starting at zero, i has to be smaller than bitmap dot width, and i 
I plus plus and just copy this. Actually, you know, instead of I, we can use X. There we go. Copy this, paste it. Instead of X for this other one, it's going to be Y. Uh, there we go. Okay, so now what we want to do is get our game one dot collision map and it's going to equal this conditional argument which is going to be if uh, bitmap dot get pixel x y oh actually I forgot to do something this has to be x y here on the collision map get pixel dot r R for red, G for green, and B for blue, and the RGB values. R, G, B. And this basically means, this conditional statement means, if, if the red value plus the green value plus the blue value of uh, that pixel is equal to zero, which basically means it's, if it's black, then it's going to equal true, which means it's solid block. So, otherwise, it will equal false, which means it's okay to go through. So that's how we're going to make our, uh, our bitmap reader, <coughs> basically. Uh, yeah, so we'll probably continue this in the next tutorial. Hope you enjoy. Please give it a thumbs up, uh, rating, uh, favorite if you enjoy, share with your friends. And hope to see you in the next tutorial. Thank you. Bye.